Hello there, here you can see two soil moisture sensors. These two sensors sending soil moisture level to this ESP32 through Bluetooth. And this ESP32 is updating the data to Blink Cloud. So we can monitor the real-time soil moisture of the two fields in the smartphone or computer. I built this using the DF Robot BLE Beacon module. We can use this module to fetch different sensor data from different locations and we can integrate in our receiver. So in this video, I am showing how we can configure the BLE Beacon module and build this project. Let's get started with this video. So this is the BLE Beacon modules. This comes as a pack of 5 modules. This module is based on IN100 controller which has BLE capability. It has 6 programmable GPIOs. We can connect analog, digital and I2SC sensor to these pins. The input voltage is 1.1 to 3.6 volt. And you can see the coin cell battery holder here. It uses only 650 nanoampere current in sleep mode and operation current is about 10 milliampere. So this is a perfect module to operate in battery. The working frequency of this module is 2.4 GHz. That's all about this little module. Now let's see how to configure this module. For that we need an FTDI breakout board and some sensors. Here I am using these two soil moisture sensors. First download the nano beacon config tool. You can find the link from the video description. After downloading extract the file and open the tool. We need to set the broadcast channel. For that select the advertising set 1 and click on edit. Now select the custom format and select settings. Now tick on device name and enter a name. You can use any name here. I am naming as soil moisture sensor 1. Now tick on manufacturer specific data and click on edit. Now select any ADC channel. I selected ADC channel 0. Tick on big Indian then click to append to data. Now you can see the values in the window. Now click OK. Now click on the advertising parameters. Then in the advertising interval select 100 millisecond. This means the device will send data in every one second. We don't want to change anything else so click OK. Next select the ADC tab and select the previously selected ADC channel. Click on edit. In the unit mapping tab change 0 0.001 in unit 2.898 on value of 1.4 volt at 0.828 on last tab. You can check the explanation of this if you want. Now click on OK. Next select the GPIO tab and you can see that the GPIO 4 is automatically changed to analog. Next in the RF test tab change the internal capacitor code to 12. Now click on apply. Now click on XO change the value to 12. That's it. Now we can check the configuration here. Now connect the module to FTDI board. Connect VCC to VCC, ground to ground, RX to IO0 and TX to IO1. Make sure the VCC is selected as 3.3 volt in FTDI breakout. Now we are ready to connect the sensors to the beacon. Connect the analog pin to IO4, VCC to VBAT and ground to ground. Connect the FTDI breakout to the computer. Now click on probe so it will automatically select the port. Now click on connect and you can see the connected message if everything is ok. Remember the beacon is one type programmable module. So don't click on the band. We can check the program and working of the module by clicking the run in RAM option. So I click that. In this mode the code is available in the beacon till the battery removed. To check the working we can use the nano beacon BLE scanner app. In the app we can see the soil moisture sensor data. As you can see the data coming from the beacon is in hexadecimal format. So let's convert the hexadecimal to decimal. Here I am using a ESP32 Fire Beetle port. You can use any ESP32 port. After uploading the BLE scanner code to the ESP32, we can monitor the data in the serial monitor.
Similarly, I programmed one more soil moisture sensor. Also, I printed a simple cover for the module. In the program, I mapped the value to 0 to 100 and I used Blink IoT Cloud to monitor the values. Now you can see the values in the Blink app. You can find all the necessary information from the article. Link is given in the video description. So that's all about today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new from my video. If so, please consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.